Okay, now if we look at 11.5, okay, this is another scenario. Okay, just now you have a scenario of using similar triangles. Now, it's a scenario of recasting. Okay, so to recast, it means to change the shape of the original figure to another. It means if originally the shape was a prism. Okay, I melt it down and I shape it into a sphere, for example. Okay, so because it is the exact same thing, okay, the key concept for this uh, is you all need to know. Okay, volume remains the same. Okay, that is the key thing to take away for this type of questions. Okay, so you have, <coughs> in the example, you have figure A, which is a solid consisting of a cone and a hemisphere. Okay, the solid is melted down to form a square pyramid. So essentially, both figures, okay, based on what I just taught you, has the same volume. Okay, so you are asked to find the volume of figure B. Okay, sorry, figure A for part A. Okay, so if we look at figure A, just throw in your formulas. Think about whether you have everything. For your hemisphere, it's 2 pi r cubed. Do you have the radius of the hemisphere? Yes, you got 7. Settled. What about cone? 1 third pi r square h. r, I have also the same as the hemisphere, 7. Height, I also have, which is given to me 10. So everything is given to me. I don't have to calculate any slant height or anything. So throw in the formula, sub in your values. Okay, then remember in this question, they ask you to take pi to be 22 over 7. Okay, so make sure you do that. Okay, key that into the calculator. Okay, you get 1078cm cube. Okay, so that's a volume of figure A. For part B, you are asked to find the slant height of the pyramid in figure B, which means your slant height of your pyramid. Okay, so based on the concept that your volume remains the same. Okay, essentially, your volume of your pyramid is what we calculated above. This is 1078. Okay, so I can equate your formula for volume of pyramid, which is one third by base area times height, which is the height of the pyramid itself. Okay, so they already gave it to you that for the base area, Okay, it is a square base of 12 cm each side. Okay, so I can equate 1078 to 48 h, which is one third times 12 square times h, because 12 square is the base of your pyramid. From there, you can work out h to be a certain fraction. Okay, so same thing I told you before, because this is part of the part of the working. Okay, so there's no need to simplify this, just leave it as such because it makes your life easier to clean the calculator later at the part at the end part. Okay, so now if you look at what you have in the triangle or right angle triangle of the pyramid, you have the base of the triangle, which is half of the side of the square. Okay, so because your side is 12, right? So half of it is six. Okay, your height is what you previously found earlier. Okay, then slant height, which is this portion here. Okay, I put L. Okay, this is your hypotenuse of your right angle triangle. Okay, so you can put a right angle here to let yourself know. Okay, so use your Pythagoras theorem, calculate your stun height. Okay, key in your calculator. Okay, you should get an answer of 23.2. Okay, so this is another scenario of a question. Okay, where your figures are recasted, where they have the same volume. Okay, lastly, we move on to another scenario, okay? So this scenario is slightly different, okay? But the concept is using the change in volumes as well, okay? You have a cylinder container with diameter 12 cm that contains water up to a height of 5 cm as shown in diagram one, okay? When you put three large identical spherical objects and three small identical spherical objects, you mean three large spheres and three small spheres essentially. Okay, the water level rises to a height of 32 cm. Okay, so if you think about it, okay, a simple analogy. Okay, if I want to make a cup of ice water, okay, I take a or I take a cup of water. Okay, of course, originally I cannot fill it to the brim, right? Because if I put ice, it will overflow. So if you put maybe about half a cup, okay, and add about five ice cubes, the water level will rise. So what you need to take away and understand is that this rise 
in the cup of water, that additional volume or the additional increase in volume, this volume is the volume of the ice they have added. Okay, so this is the concept that will be applying into this question itself. Okay, so what you need to do first or what the question asks you to do or find out is to calculate the volume of the six spherical objects, which is essentially the increase in volume. So to find the increase in volume, you take your base, which is essentially still your volume of your cylinder, right? Just that you're working with a different height, which is the increase in height. So you're, you work out the increase in height, which is the final minus initial, 32 minus 5, you get 27 cm. Okay, then you just take your base area of your cylinder times your height to find the volume. Okay, that's how you get 972 pi cm cubed. Okay, and because they ask you to leave your answer in terms of pi, that is why you leave it in terms of pi. Okay, if not, you always go and key out your pi in your calculator. Okay, now if we look at part two, okay, given that the radius of the large spherical object is twice the size of the small spherical object, find the radius of one large spherical object. Okay, so now you are working with an unknown, okay, which are the radius of the two different spheres but you are given a certain information. Okay, so in the case of an unknown, you always let a variable represent this unknown. Okay, so that's why we let the radius of the small spherical object be R. Okay, since radius, we just represent R. Okay, but if you want to use X or anything else, also can. Okay, just that we use R is more convenient for ourselves because the formula is based on the radius as well. Okay, so because the large spherical object is twice, okay, thus radius of the large sphere is 2R. Okay, then you work out what is your formula because I expressed both of them in terms of R already. Okay, your formula for your volume of six spherical objects. Okay, calculate the volume of two different spheres, three each. Okay, so you got four third times two pi R cubed plus four third times pi R cubed. So this one is for the large sphere. This one is for the small sphere okay 